This is the sous vide supreme, so this is the world's first sous vide unit for the home cook. So sous vide means under pressure or under vacuum. Uh, and it's cooking in a uh, very precise temperature controlled environment. Uh, quite, e quite honestly, just to make food um, look easy, delicious, um, perfect and convenient. Um, so we're gonna do a little steak and eggs dish. That's kind of the biggest thing about sous vide cooking to wrap your head around is that you're actually cooking at the temperature that you want your food to be finished at. So if you think about how an oven is, you set your oven for 500 degrees, put your roast in the oven, and you want that roast to finish at 140 degrees. So there's a lot of like craft and or luck and good fortune that goes into putting something in, in, a, in a box that's 500 degrees and then you want it to get to an internal temperature of 140. That's what makes you know roasted meat so difficult. The neat thing about sous vide is we set our sous vide supreme for that temperature, 140. In this case, I've been doing like 135 for the flank steak. We put it in there. And the product can never overcook. It can never go past that at about three hours. You can see all of this juice. Right? I think this is beautiful, but a little longer. Um, you can see all that juice. This is just salt and pepper and garlic. So that's all the flavor that's coming outside of that meat that if we cook this traditionally in a saute pan or in the oven, goes into the air or, or goes away. So it's, it's kind of like the French cooking term, confit. It's cooking in its own juices. Um, if you start to do a lot of confit, uh, a lot of sous vide cooking, one of the neat sort of byproducts of that cooking technique is that you save all of these juices and now you have all of this wonderful homemade stock and, and the beginnings of some fabulous sauce because this is just now, you know, very pure beef stock or beef sauce. So my freezer at home is filled with tons of little containers that say lamb juice and lamb fat, beef juice, beef fat. One of the joys and the beauties of sous vide cooking is that's medium rare now from edge to edge. That if I did cook this in a pan, even someone who's somewhat talented, you know, that's a very difficult thing to do. Actually, that's impossible to do. You can't get that edge to edge done because it would be gray and then a little pink and then maybe red in the middle, right? But what we have, we don't have here is what's called the Maillard reaction, which is the browning of meats. Uh, so what I'm gonna do now is in a hot pan, just kind of give it a little bit of crust. So for the busy home cook, this can be done five days earlier. This can be done while you're at work. This can be done a uh, month earlier, because you can actually now take this chill and put it in the freezer if you want. And now you're only a minute or two away from, you know, cooking like some restaurant. Once it hits the air for a little bit, that's, that's what sous vide is all about. Edge to edge done this, same temperature all the way throughout. Now, if you wanted to cook this mid-well, that's fine. You set the machine for the temperature of mid-well. Uh, and, and it comes out then. So a lot of people are also like, oh, well, I don't like my meat pink. That's fine. Cook it however you want. That's, that's your, your choice. Uh, the question again was um, tenderizing. Um, no, I didn't tenderize this, and the neat thing about sous vide, you guys will get a chance to taste this, is that you can use lesser cuts of meat, and because of the slow cooking process, um, you know, this is going to taste like filet mignon. Kind of a steak and egg dish. A fancy brunch. So kind of a poached egg. For me as a restaurateur, I love cooking sous vide eggs because I can cook a thousand of them for, brunch, for a busy brunch, and they can do, they're all going to be the same. Well, we call it the sous vide supreme. A little salt, a little pepper, a little bit of chives. And then we just made a little bit of uh, red wine marmalade.